Hello students, we are going to talk about some of the important topic today in this class that is heat, ventilation and air conditioning. So most of the time this topic is very much useful for the maintenance students like were studying in like hotel management or electrical equipments, you know, studies. So they will be having, uh, you know, maintenance services for the electrical appliances or ventilation services in that uh, such kind of uh, those who have opted the stream for them it is useful this topic in this we are going to study heat uh, ventilation and air conditioning so topics i am going to cover in this that it is thermal comfort air conditioning types ventilation and its types refrigeration and difference between the refrigerator and AC so we will look at a quick look on this what do you mean by thermal comfort so it is the condition of mind that express satisfaction with the thermal environment so when you get into a room a home a hotel or restaurant wherever so the outside maybe there is a temperature variation but when you go inside you have to feel the comfort okay so the human body will generate the excess of heat into the environment because it is having its own heat generation capacity it also generates the infrared radiations or i can say that is the heat radiations but what happens a room or a restaurant or any of the room it should have a capacity that to feel to make you comfort so generally the normal temperature is 21 to 22 degrees celsius for a person to feel comfort but based on its bodily structure it may vary okay so in cold environments the body loses more heat to the environment and in hot environments the body does not exert enough heat both the hot and the cold scenarios lead to discomfort so the next topic we are going to say about that is to maintain that heat the normal heat temperature to the body we will be having HVAC system that is heat ventilation and air conditioning design so the condition when someone is not feeling either too hot or too cold okay so when the people are dissatisfied with their thermal environment not only is it a potential health hazard it is also impact on their ability to function effectively if you are put into the higher temperature you will come you will feel discomfort and if you will put it in the lower temperature again it will put you discomfort now comfort you have to feel so basically why you are going for the restaurant to have comfort it's not meaning that in home you are having comfort no at the home you are not actually having comfort sometimes you have to bring the food from the kitchen to the dining set no one is going to serve there except your mom all right but when you go for the enva uh, you know restaurant the comfort you have to feel in one is the main important factor is temperature okay that is what you have to feel comfort so how you can achieve that thermal comfort so there are some of the things okay thermal comfort you can achieve okay so like this anyone who has ever tried the work when they are too hot or too cold will know exactly how important thermal comfort is for focus and productivity right for that we have some in heat ventilation and the systems okay design of buildings are necessary design of buildings are necessary for uh, the thermal comfort and maintaining of the thermal environment is necessary
Now, how we can control the heat? The solar heat gain, there are three different ways. The conduction, convection and radiation. So, heat, it may get into your room at any way. Maybe from the roof, maybe from the walls, maybe from the windows, like that. It means to get into. So, now what happens? So when the occupants are there in the room are also the major source of heat building into your because as the members in a room increases their body temperature is also you know body temperature is you know is the reason to increase the temperature of that hall or the room or the restaurant now as a result of human contribution to the total heat especially is a large air conditioned spaces like halls auditorium theater cinemas and airports etc so using better heat ventilation and air conditioning system we can reduce that heat so we have a concept called outdoor heat the warmer air outside of the conditioned spaces is called outdoor air or atmospheric air which is outside the room due to its higher temperature outdoor air tends to increase the average room temperature when it enters to the indoor spaces because inside the room if you having a ac system means the temperature will be less and always the air will move from you know higher temperature to the lower temperature okay so it will gain the temperature now the electronics appliances we have in the indoor that is inside the room okay so these are again some television sets will be there or coffee machines will be there water heaters will be there there are also the key reason to increase the indoor air temperature so they will consume electricity and release their heat to the outside or indoor systems so how we can you know use air conditioning system for the thermal comfort a system for controlling humidity ventilation and temperature building or vehicle typically maintained to cool atmosphere is ac air conditioning system there are different types we have in a ac there is a thermal one is central air conditioning mini split air conditioning window air conditioning and portable air conditioning so now different different air conditioning but nowadays all ACs are not used the mainly used are window air conditions are not nowadays it is used mostly the most of the cases we are using only central air conditioning system in the halls in shopping malls in theaters in restaurants and after that split air conditioning system we are using in our room or in a home now how that working of central ac system is works so this is the smallest scenario you can see on the screen that is working of the central ac system so you have your a compressor so this is called the compressor this is the compressor you have you can see and uh, this is the cooling system evaporators okay so now this is condenser so what happens is if you see this see compressor compressor is having some one kind of liquid so it is acts as a principle of you know you you have uh, you know worked with perfume bottle so highly pressurized gas will be there inside the bottle and when you uh, spray it on your body what happens cooling effects takes place Similarly, in this uh, one gas will be there. Most of the cases, chlorofluorocarbons and other uh, uh, gases will be there. But nowadays, chlorofluorocarbon is banned so that different other gases are used. Now, blue line, if you see this pipe, mean this compressor was allows that gas into this pipe, and this pipe is fitted in your roof system. If you go to the shopping malls and all, you can you cannot see that actually externally, but covering will be there. But roof, oh, this pipes will be fitted like this throughout the roof. Okay, the cooling gas will be flows in this pipe, and this will absorbs the heat in this way. It absorbs.